Hey, Mike Checker 1212. This is your human, Jericho Razzie, as far as you know. Actually, let me do that again. This is your human, as far as you know, Jericho Razzie. Alright, let's see. Get into the uh, chat test. Text to speech test B. All right. <clears throat> Mike Chuckle, one, two, one, two. Mike Chuckle, one, two, one, two. What's up, baby? The wasteland exploration continues. Whoop whoop. All right. Ooh. Hey. the stream all righty we were doing this mission speak with Ali Fillmore being on the institution side this time Damn, I'm confused in this one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What the duck? That's it.
<clears throat> I got this one on light here. Let's see which way we would do it. That way. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? Hmm. If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone. Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Disable. Their defense system now offline. Unlock door. The door's unlocked. Since defense protocol one. No way I could pick this. Okay, I should be able to get in here now. Oh shit. So there's the door. How do I get there? Oh, duh. Alright. So this should be unlocked now, I believe. Yes, maybe? I don't fucking know, dude. Hmm. Hold on for a second. Oh, dang it. I was going to the wrong one. Now the door should be unlocked. 
I did have to go that way. Up, up. Uh -huh. I thought I heard something. Made it past the guards, hmm? Impressive. Excuse me, Doctor. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the Directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? Don't you think you're being a little selfish here? Far from it. What we do, we do to protect the Institute. You're a stubborn fool. And you're not gonna like how this ends. Nor will you. You leave us here. Everyone else will starve. Because you were too stubborn to refuse Father's appointment. Remove us by force, and everyone will fear and despise you. I'm afraid you lose either way. Father's heir apparent. He made it past your impenetrable defenses. What if you got that far? Compose yourself, man. We've always known the risks, but we are still in control. Oh, look, it's an accident. Hmm. What I'm going to do now is really stick our allies. And that should take care of business. back I wonder the hard way. I gave him a chance. But he didn't want to he didn't want to hear it. Killed Kenny. All right. Now I'm on. Easy. Here we go. Got it. Got him. So he's like saying either they stay in that room and everybody starves and blames me and has them down or I hurt him and then they're like for, afraid of me. Either way I lose. Oh, what about if it's the gorillas that do it? Hmm. Where was that? I think it's this terminal. That's just the door. Right? Damn, where's the goddamn? I was just at the terminal not too long ago. Hmm.
Was it another terminal? Hmm. Hmm. Yep. There it is. Initiate specimen specimen release, bitch. What's up, bitches? You just got served, huh, punk? You paid the price, bitch. We'll just let them let the gorillas do their job. Please stand still. <laughs> Get him, gorilla. What's up, bitch? You did. That's what's up. What a big boy.
All right, open the bioscan main door. Okay, well, where the hell is that? Hmm. I mean, I thought I did that already. Uh, try this one. All right. The green knot was missing. Open the door, bitch. That was unfortunate. We don't like violence here, and I fear your Doc. That was unfortunate. We don't like violence here, and I fear your actions will have consequences. What was I supposed to do? Let everyone starve? I don't mean to preach. I simply wish that matters could have been resolved more peacefully. I'll see that the mess in hydroponics is cleaned up. I suppose I should also make the funeral arrangements. Well, there's much to do, so I'll get about it. In the meantime, I'm sure everyone will be relieved that this is over. Gonna visit the dock. Synth unit, you were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to report? Nothing to report. I carry that. The Institute is my life. I hope it'll be yours too. Dr. Fillmore. I think that was. So, what can I do for the future director of the Institute? I'd like to know about the people in the division. Of course. Nice. Is a mechanical engineer. He oversees the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise. And Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food and housing. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. Allie. What's on your mind? It must be a challenge to meet the power <laughs> demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Hmm, what's over there? Hi, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing <coughs> mental comparisons. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Father has always been a little... Unpredictable. Now what are we doing? 
speak to father. All right. Hmm. Greetings, sir. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to father, but to all of us. Have you seen J522 around? Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Hmm. Are you talking about? They're acting the same as they do every day. If you require maintenance, please file a report with the facilities division. Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. Remarkable creations in the institute's history. Ah, he must be on this side. I created them in the first place. Hmm. I still don't see their purpose. I like to think the ability to create them is purpose enough. <gasps> Dad says I'm as good as he is. <coughs> okay, so through the lunchroom. So through the lunchroom is how I get to father's. Maybe? I don't fucking know. Wish it was like Harry Potter game where you have a sparkly trail to follow the GPS out. He's never been up there. Hmm. Are there many more? Any additional change? Okay, god damn it, it's over there. Rogue sent that Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Quite well. I see. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I see. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little things. Interesting. And you've been getting extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? Okay. Yes, thank you. Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. <clears throat> Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. You're the doctor here? Everyone's a doctor here. But if you mean physician, then yes, I'm about as close as we've got to one. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup. <coughs> take care of yourself, so I don't have to. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. I have to admit, the third generation sense are really something. Perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. wanted to see me I understand mass fusion was a success despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel we handled them just fine that's what dr. Fillmore reported I'm quite pleased at the results would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages the Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context however given that tension for hoarding technology future conflict with them is guaranteed we are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present and look at me 
Rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Whatever it is, I can take care of it. I certainly hope so. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication. <laughs> And this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shot <coughs> can be fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation. But it is a paradox. Oh boy. That this special individual be brought to the institute oh boy. immediately. Oh boy. What this effort? What's so special about this person, Mr. Wallace? Despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. Yo, what's up, homie? Hey. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These instant bad <sighs> are in the way. You'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're going to take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you going to order the attack or not? I'm giving you an order, soldier. Maybe you don't understand. This ain't the military. And I don't have to take orders from you. Are you so against this? You do know which side you're on, don't you? You sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? Look, I... I just want people to be safe, you know? I don't want anyone else dying or getting kidnapped or whatever. We won't start shooting or nothing. But you... You better get in there. And make sure you're right. Goddamn load screen behind every door almost. Jeez. Scanning. Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. 
If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Hmm. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. <coughs> no, they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, mm. you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with hmm. him. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Shit. <sighs> Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Okay. Let's increase our charisma. Hmm. Where's Wallace? Useless. Hmm. Oh, no. How's that upstairs going to the Commonwealth? Maybe I can go through the roof or something now. Pretty excited being named the next director. Hmm. Now what? Jammed. Broken. Hmm. I'm looking forward to working for you. God damn it, how the hell do I get in there? The fuck, dude? Hmm. I mean, do I, do I blow the door open? Yes, Wallace. Activate. Mr. Wallace, I'm oh, here, here to talk go. to you. You're <clears throat> another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Sir, are you okay? Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. <laughs> of course I'm not okay. <laughs> I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Hmm. Hey, just calm down, okay? Charisma? I just want to talk to you. If I wanted to talk, I wouldn't be Damn here. It. Now just, just go away. Hey, just... Calm down, okay? I 
just want to talk to you. <coughs> if I wanted to talk, I wouldn't be in here. Right. We're here to steal your kidneys and your memories. That's why I'm wasting time talking to you through the door. That's not funny. None of this is funny. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're mm. leaving. And Damn. Just shut up and listen to me. We're not here to hurt you. But if you make this difficult, you're going to regret it. Okay, all right. What do you want from me? Why are you here? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I'll go. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. Busted. This is ridiculous. It's like, oh, I can't fast travel from here. I can't. I have to do this load screen. All right. Do the load screen. Oh, now, now I can fast travel. Cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. I'm proud to help the Institute. Here's hoping it all pays off. At this point, there is no doubt. It will succeed, and very shortly. There is one more part for you to play. And I think you might hmm. enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth. To request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. <coughs> Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. Okay, we're gonna save the game here. Quick save, but it's been a while since we've done a real save, so do that. Okay. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is... We are here. And we are... Here to help. 
Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so <coughs> will result in unnecessary difficulties for all parties. Rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands and that mankind will thrive mm. under our guidance. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? Diamond City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air <laughs> there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Just in my once your work has been done in Diamond City, a little bit. we can proceed. I'm curious about something. <clears throat> See here. Mm. Once your work has been done in Diamond City, we can proceed. Well, got the wrong button. Once your work has been done in Diamond City, I heard you first three times. Proceed. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Just a slide a little bit. Whoa. Is the Institute spying on your home? Read the public and find mm. out. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Yeah? All right. Yes. So. No sense allowed at the surplus. Don't let the stress of. Hmm. Bye, kill you. Relax with some candy. Hmm. Are you smarter? The game changer. It's the new guy. That's you, right? Here we go. Little 
quick save. If you don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, um, hi. What's up? There. Hi. This radio station. Um. Well. <laughs> well. Uh. You'll notice there aren't any other ones. So. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay, I usually don't, this is why, this is why. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Okay. So, where you put slot? Hey, maybe I know, this I know. goes here. Hi, again. Uh, All yeah. right, and you go. Hi. Hmm. Um. Now what? Reconfigure the transmitter. Mm. Activate. Don't uh don't don't break my neck <clears throat> if you don't if you don't mind. So let's see. Hmm, actually, hold on now, let's think about this. So the button I, I don't, I don't, uh, take it easy, buddy. I usually don't, this is why, this is why. So two, no. The colors match, right? And no. Hmm. Don't uh don't don't break my stuff. If you uh, if you don't if you don't mind. Hmm. Color matches. Hmm. This radio station. Um. Well, uh, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. Hmm. That of three of five. There we go. I figured it out. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Time is it? One o two a.m. The hell am I going the wrong place or what? Hmm.
You'll take your responsibilities as director. Hmm. Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm institute material. I'm proven wrong. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Before long, he'll be back in control. Aha. Here we go. <clears throat> Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. Boy, are you doing? Day is full of possibilities. Oh, I remember playing this last time. Enjoy I went against it last time. I think it's done. Then the transmitter has been modified. Yup. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do it. <clears throat> this, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish, and we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Sean. It's almost hard to believe. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The meeting of our colleagues. <coughs> you should be there as director. Son. Someday, father. <coughs> this will all be yours.
good to so, see you. Feeling well today? Take good so, care of yourself. Dr. Fillmore. So, Rosalind. I do think you're director of the institute. Hey, Doc. Best part Another of my lovely day is day, coming home to my girls. Hi, Doc. Ah, hello. If I may... Ah, hello. If I may take a moment of your time, we're having some trouble on the surface. There's a den of those abominable feral ghouls that's been threatening one of our scavenger teams. We've had to recall the synth scavengers until the situation can be dealt with. Hopefully by you. I'll take care of those feral ghouls for you. I'm very grateful for your help. I have no first-hand experience with these creatures, of course. But I've heard that they can be quite vicious. They are also quite territorial. So you should prepare for a fight. Good luck. All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. It must make you proud to see all this. Damn it. <clears throat> Hopefully it's on this floor. Yep. Oh, one more floor up. Yeah, bastards. What if this were on the right side? What's up, buddy? Your presence here is a great gift. Not just to Father, but to all of us. It's great to May have I be you. the first to welcome you, sir. We're looking forward to working with you. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's Whoa. nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. What we've Your dick. About all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision mm. and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Hmm. The will would take our technology. Hmm. Minimize the violence, hit him hard, wait and see, avoid conflict. Hmm. If this has to happen, we keep the violence to a minimum. We're not out to destroy the Commonwealth. Of course. It was never the intention to cause more harm than is necessary. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? I've seen enough to know the weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development. As you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Being the director of the Institute is a serious... Trophy! Topic. I hope you understand that. You give me some Dr. Lip. Lee. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Yes, well... With the reactor running, we've moved back to our regular projects. Dr. Watson is, I believe, working on power consumption in our laser weapons. Dr. Ormond is... Well, I'm not quite ready to divulge that yet. 
She has several, let's say, ambitious proposals. Dr. Lee. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. I wish you could have known father as we have. Alrighty, so now what? Hmm. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. I don't think it's this way, is it? No. It was uh, near the bio one. There he is. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? Hmm. How long has this been coming? When did they decide on this course of action? The arrival of the Brotherhood's airship was the final straw, really. There's just too much at stake. We... You can't afford to lose it all. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? I can't lie. They are allies. Well, I appreciate your honesty. I won't ask for details. I'm sure I don't want to know. But these people, with their twisted ideology, they seek to undermine everything the Institute stands for. Surely you can see that. They want freedom for the synths, that's all. They're not a threat to the Institute. Of course, they claim they're about rights and freedom for synths. But those misguided notions have led to countless acts of violence. Surely you can see that you can no longer work with them. Mm. That the time has come to put an end to them for our sake. For oh! Our future. This is an order. The railroad leadership needs to be eliminated. I expect a report when it's done. Nice work. Son, the railroad has left us with no other option. Remember that. Well, I want to get the trophy for signing with the Institute, so I guess I'll do Good it. See you. This round. Captured one of our agents. Code name. Yeah, the... have some real oomph to it. Me and the boys been working on it. Tiny little package, but a hell of a big kid. Is it safe? Did you say safe? Uh, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm running sense out of the well. Wasteland. The man looks like a bigger problem than. Whoa! The hell? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah. Hey there. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. 
Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low techs. Uh -huh. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like. I'll take good care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive computer. Sure. I got the perfect spot picked out. Right. Word is Diamond City is under opposition control. Oh. Hmm. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any mm. priority on rescuing the <clears throat> side. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. Hmm. You think the Minutemen won't help the synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, <laughs> and they mutiny. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synth's fate is literally in your hands. Well, guess what? Everybody's going to attack me in a moment. <laughs> Oh no. Don't do anything to do with this. Building statistical model for Operation T Party. It's my place now.
back home. Pam. Processing. Agent. Fixer. Your arrival was not calculated. Well, I'm here. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Mm. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. <clears throat> Well, nice to meet you, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Mm. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all. What? That's amazing. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably, <clears throat> all output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group, and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict hmm. your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111, Cryo Vault, believed destroyed, conversation terminated, pending construction of new probability matrix. Hmm. Rephrasing, goodbye. Pam. Analyzing. Calibrating using new data set. Hmm. that main person I took out.
so. The work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat to the Institute. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. Hmm. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first mm. place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. Hmm. But I don't know if we can pull that off. I don't see that we have a choice. And with you leading the charge, how can we fail? Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Should I do charisma? More bullets. This dude. Hmm. Action. Let's do this dude. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I decided that. Hmm. Critical hits. Action points. Hmm. Health. Action points. Oh, let's max it out. Boom. <coughs> Father is more than just our leader. Is our creator. Hmm. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. At last. We have power adequate to so our many needs. Projects, so Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? What's up? Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. So, what exactly is going on? We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? 
Yep. I'm aware right. of that. Yes. Okay. Good. Sure. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. Hmm. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the hmm. entire airport covered. We can relay you into a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. All right. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And, oh, I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, mm -hmm. it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into <laughs> the bay. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I thought it was neat. But still, <laughs> it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? What's Liberty Prime? Dr. Lee can give you the rundown. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never hmm. saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. That's quite an achievement. In objective terms, yes, it was. But the things I went through, that project included, ultimately caused me to seek out something better. It's what led me to the Commonwealth and to the Institute. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders, but he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll mm. absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. Have we got a plan B? We don't need a plan B. This will work. Anything else? What happens to Liberty Prime after this? They'll be destroyed along with the rest of the Brotherhood. What have I got for backup? Once the generators are down, we'll be able to throw everything we've got at them. And I do mean every. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. Dr. Orman. I've already started thinking about the next reactor. I'm convinced that antimatter is the way to go. I'm overburning, ain't I? Damn it. Just about a little bit. Hmm.
you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Nothing to you recorded, sir. We've got more energy than we need now. Hey, brief break. Be back in a couple minutes.